Hello everyone. Um, for the past couple of days, there's been a verse kind of, or a piece of a verse, I should say, a piece of a scripture verse that's just kind of been rolling around in, in my in my mind. And uh, you know, the, you know how sometimes you just come back to something. And this is, I, I know, for, was for me very good, and, and maybe it'll be useful for some of you as well. And it's actually a part of a passage out of um, the prophet Isaiah in the Old Testament, um, Isaiah chapter 42. And I'll, I'll want to read the, the verse and then just make a couple of quick comments about it. Now this was talking about, this was speaking of the Messiah that was yet to come, that Isaiah was prophesying about. So it was referring to uh, Christ, Jesus, when he, were, when he was to come. And it was one of the things that was a, to be a landmark of who he was and uh, who he is and the work that Christ would do. Um, here, so here it is, Isaiah 42. It says, Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one in whom I delight. Um, I will put my spirit on him, and he will bring justice to the nations. He will not shout or cry out or raise his voice in the streets. But then here's the part that has really just been with me for a couple of days. It says, A bruised reed he will not break, and a smoldering wick he will not snuff out. In faithfulness he will bring forth justice. He will not falter or be discouraged till he, established, till he establishes justice on earth. And that part about the bruised reed. And the reed is, is basically the reeds that grow on the edge of a river, like a cattail of where I'm from in the U.S. and the South. We have what, what are called cattails, you know, a tall reed that would grow up. It says a bruised reed he wouldn't break. And you know... Over the years, I've seen a lot of times in different elements in Christianity where it's like if there's if you're broken, if you're if you're if you're bruised, if you're, if you're if you're battered, then it's your fault, and you're not doing something right, and God's going to judge you for that, and it's a sign of your lack of faith or your whatever. But this is actually saying like one of the promises of when Christ says came was that when he saw those people who were bruised and who were beaten down, who were hurting, that he would not break them. This is a smoldering wick, a, a candle that's almost about, that there's, there's almost no fire left, it's just kind of sputtering a little bit. He wouldn't put it out. And you know, and to me that's, that, that's really a, a great promise, because I know like I'm sure many of you, there have been times where my faith was basically gone, where there was really nothing left, where uh, smoldering may be the right word, maybe not, maybe not even fire coming, maybe just a little bit of smoke, maybe a little bit of ember left was the only thing there. This is even if that's where we are, he wouldn't put out the fire. Rather, he would help encourage and stroke and bring it back into life. And you know, and I find that to be a very comforting, a very reassuring truth of the nature of Christ that even when we're at our weakest, even when we're at our lowest, He's not going to come and judge us and, and smash us and hurt us, and especially if we are bruised and broken, He's not going to come and smash us. In fact, those are the very ones that He promises that He would bring healing and restoration and strength, that he would comfort. And I just, you know, for me, it's been one of those things I've been just contemplating on the past, I don't know, maybe a week or so, of just how grateful I am that even when I'm at my absolute weakest, at my absolute lowest, when there's basically nothing left, I don't have to worry about him coming in and just smashing me or judging me because that's all I've got left. That was the promise of the Messiah. It's the opposite of all the religious people and all the Pharisees and the priests and all the, the great people of Jesus' day. He was going to do exactly the opposite. He wasn't going to come and say, oh, it's your lack of faith, it's you're not doing it right. It's In fact, just the opposite. He would nurture and bring and slowly bring back healing. And it's just a, a beautiful thing to me, just a, a wonderful promise. And I just kind of wanted to share that 
uh, with you guys. That's just something that's been in my heart the past few days. So hopefully that helps some of you a little bit. And um, I'll see you guys soon. So thank you very much and God bless.